Okay, today I have um, <coughs> decided to make a, um, a conventional four position tool post to fit on my uh, lathe here. The lathe actually came with a, um, a quick change tool post but didn't come with a just a conventional tool post so I decided uh, after seeing a uh, a good idea on the internet on uh, YouTube. Uh, some other guy fabricated his own, and uh, I've taken that idea one step further. And I must thank him for giving me the idea. Okay, here's the uh, the tool post that came with the with the machine. I've actually uh, made this big block here that fits on my CNC lathe. Um, and I use it on the CNC lathe but this is my preferred uh, homemade uh, tool post it's a two position one John uh, designed by John Stevenson in England oh, I made this about 15 years ago and <laughs> it's worked really well all those years <coughs> so here was the <coughs> idea was to uh, uh, make the tool post in three parts rather than going to buy one big block of three inch by three inch square metal and machining the guts out of it. Uh, so uh, that, that was the general idea. Here's uh, what I've come up with on uh, my SolidWorks uh, arrangement. Uh, consists of three parts, the upper, the midsection and the lower section. And uh, rather than bolt the thing together, I had the idea of, of you know, I went into my junk box and I found a heap of um, five millimeter by 30 millimeter long uh, uh, dowel pins and I decided just to dowel it all together. It's never gonna come apart. It's always gonna be under compression. So there's no issue with welding or you know, screwing things together. So this is the uh, the lower, <coughs> lower section here with four holes for the dowel pins or the uh, roll pins they are, I'm sorry not dowel pins, they're actually roll pins or some people call them spring pins um, there's the mid section the uh, roll pin there will be uh, pushed through these holes so the whole idea is to sandwich it together like that <coughs> and here's the upper section now I've already cut out the 75mm uh, uh, by 75mm by 20 thick from I had a piece of um, uh, bar that was 100mm wide and 20mm thick so you can see the <coughs> two off cuts there that I uh, cut off with the uh, faithful old uh, cut off saw and then trued them up on the, in the uh, milling machine so uh, that's the project for today. Okay, finished all the, the bits, bottom half board to suit my tool post at the bottom middle section there. and the upper section goes there and four five millimeter roll pins
Ah, I just want to push it down with. through fairly even. This. Yeah. Exactly too big. It'll be coming apart in a hurry. Yes, she bottoms out then. Uh, use longer ones if I don't reach the tooling that I've got but uh, I put a smaller bit in there I'd have to make these screws longer but I'll do there we go okay the uh, this brass washer well made up here I um, turned it down until it was the uh, the correct thickness so that the handle on the tail post pointed towards the tailstock uh, away from the jobs. Okay, moment of truth. Well, it uh, cuts very nicely in the centre. Another tool in the arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> 